So VWAP is actually a very powerful indicator, as long as you remember these criteria. So you must remember from all my videos that I leave my charts very clean when I'm trading. The only indicators I use are VWAP and volume. While I do not rely on any indicator for entries and exits, VWAP is something I look at when I'm gauging the overall strength of the stock. It's an indicator that's extremely useful when trading large cap stocks, as well as identifying potential loan traps and short traps when trading small cap penny stocks, which is what I'll be talking about in this video. Video, as well as some very nice long and short setups for beginner traders to get started. And of course, all the important criteria to look out for, as long as you remember to tap the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much, my friends. So VWAP stands for Volume Weighted Average Price, and the reason it's such a powerful indicator for day trading is because it takes into consideration both the volume and the price into calculations. In the most general definition, VWAP indicates the strength of a stock, whether there's more buying volume or selling volume. So if a stock is trading above VWAP, then it's considered bullish, because the majority of the volume are the buyers bidding the stock higher, and vice versa. If a stock is trading beneath VWAP, then it's considered bearish. So that's why traders like to use VWAP cross as a trend reversals indicator for them to go long or short. So let's take a look at this example here, what we call the VWAP cross long setup. So this stock, SPCE, Virgin Galactic stock, was very beaten down on the daily chart. It sold off from $30 all the way to $20 all in 3 days. And of course, one of the reasons for this sell-off was the earnings miss and the overall condition of the market. So on this day, as you can see, with a very beaten down daily chart, you can see SPCE opened around the lows around 1950s, and then very quickly crossed over VWAP with volume. Volume. And volume is a very important criterion for this VWAP cross loan setup, so make sure you make note of that. And once SPCE crossed this VWAP, we can see it run up from $20 to $21.50 and then quickly pulled back. So once the VWAP indicator is crossed over, it could act as potential support. Again, is it always going to work as support? Not always. Remember of the criterion we mentioned earlier, it has to hold with volume. So if the stock selling volume around this level where SPCE is holding around 2040s, 2050s is relatively high, then maybe this VWAP may not have held the support then the stock would have broken down. But on this particular day, you can see the selling volume was decreasing slowly, and all the while, the stock is holding steadily above VWAP. So if you didn't get in long on the stock when you first cross over VWAP, then this area is what we call a VWAP hold. This could be a potential long entry as well. And your stop loss will be some room beneath VWAP. It's really important though to know to not set your stop right on VWAP, because if you do it that way, then the algos or the market makers could very easily take you out. We'll talk more about this topic later on, so hold on tight. Now, keep in mind, this VWAP reclaim loan setup could sometimes take a while to work out. It all depends on the float of the stock, the overall market condition, and the volatility. If it was a low float penny stock, like this example here, sometimes we can see the stock reclaim VWAP and then very quickly shoot up just seconds later. In this case, SPCE is a larger market cap stock, but it's one that's pretty volatile and can give us traders a lot of range, which is why I love trading this stock long or short. You can see the stock is forming higher lows above VWAP, although while the bottom buying volume is increasing. And eventually we see a volume squeeze and the stock breaking out higher above 2150s and all the way to $24 and then climbing even higher later on. That's just one example of the VWAP reclaim long setup. But make sure you're taking into consideration other criteria such as the daily chart, the volume intraday, as well as the overall market condition. Another important note to mention is that this setup sometimes works best in the afternoon time, around what we call power hour, around 3 o'clock to 4 p.m. market time. I generally avoid trading midday or in the afternoon, but this long setup is one I actually like to trade. So you can see this example here, APT, 
the stock was trading around VWAP all morning until around 11 a.m. when it broke down. Now, if you remember what I said earlier, once the stock crosses beneath VWAP, traders consider it short term. So that's why the stock was selling off from $19 to $18. But something very interesting is happening here midday. Yes, the stock is beneath VWAP, so it's technically bearish. And yes, the volume is pretty low, so it's considered choppy. But if you look at the stock from a bigger time frame overall, you can see the stock is holding its lows, meaning that it's holding a low range from around 1680s to $18. But it's not breaking down the gap and going even further downtrending. While this indication isn't 100% guaranteed, because nothing is 100% guaranteed in day trading, but this is what we call a potential short trap, where you see they keep the stock beneath VWAP for extended amount of time with low volume to attract short sellers piling on to short the stock back down to $14 or $15. And near about 1.30 to 2 o'clock is where you see some volume starting to pick up. And that's where things starting to get interesting. You can see that we're starting to form a higher low trend beneath VWAP. And you can see APT, the stock, retest VWAP a couple of times but got rejected. And overall, it just kind of chopped around the indicator for a couple of times. Eventually, you see the stock breaking above VWAP and starts holding. And once volume comes in, that's where the squeeze happens. So all the shorts that were complacent and holding the stock for a potential all-day fade, now they have to buy to cover. As you can see, the volume from the new buyers coming in to buy the stock and the short sellers buying to cover squeeze the stock from $20 all the way to $28 once it breaks above VWAP. And because this stock, APT, is part of the crazy sector hype that's going on right now, we see the stock going higher all the way to $33 after hours. Now, with this afternoon loan setup, there's still a few important criteria you need to watch out for. First, is the volume like we talked about earlier. Second, make sure you tap the like button at the bottom of the video. And third, make sure you see the stock holding the lows and consolidating beneath VWAP for an extended amount of time. This is an important criterion to make note of because if the stock just keeps on downtrending and making lower lows, then there's less likelihood of the stock actually reclaim VWAP and breaking out in the afternoon. It's probably just gonna keep on you no know, downtrending and going all the way back down to the shithole. Next, let's talk about the VWAP breakdown short setup. Like we talked about earlier, once a stock cannot hold VWAP and starts breaking down, then it's considered bearish short term. So let's take a look at this example here, NEO. You can see the stock after it breaks out in the morning, it pulled back to support level around VWAP. So if you were loaning the stock using VWAP as an over under level to look at, that's holding right now at the moment. But once the stock breaks beneath VWAP, you can see a drop even lower and testing the opening price. Ideally, you want to see the stock retest this VWAP level for a couple of times and still fail to hold. That will make this break down a more convincing short. So you can see the stock NEO tries to hold VWAP support around 376 level. You can see it gave us some short term bounce, but then the bounce was very short lived and the stock quickly got rejected again and breaking down VWAP level. So that would be one important criteria Criterion. Quick English lesson here. Plural is criteria. Singular is criterion. Thank you to my loyal subscribers for teaching me English and grammar. Hey, remember, I'm ESL here. I said I could trade, but I never said I could do math or spell or tell you jokes that's actually funny. So anyways, I don't want to just short any VWAP breakdown. Ideally, I want to see the stock bounce about VWAP a couple of times and then really quickly got sold back down. So later on, you can see NEO try to reclaim VWAP during midday, but also got rejected again. So that to me, if I was shorting the stock, this would be potential short entry as well. And the risk would have to be some room above VWAP. Again, you don't want to put it right on VWAP because you're probably gonna get chopped up. And you can see that this stock 
does eventually reclaim VWAP later on in the afternoon. And after the reclaim, it eventually broke out higher. So this will be just like the afternoon reclaim long setup that we talked about earlier. VWAP is a very powerful indicator as a general support and resistance guide, and it tells us the relative strength of the stock short term. But with the rising popularity of VWAP, the algos and the market makers have adapted to using VWAP in order to trap traders or to take their stocks out like we talked about earlier. So MRNA, this stock was a perfect example of algos using VWAP in order to take out stops last week. You can see it in every single wick right here. You see the stock tries to break above VWAP but really quickly gets slammed back down. But at the same time, even after multiple rejections, the stock was still holding really well beneath VWAP instead of selling off like we talked about earlier. This stock was literally just chopping around VWAP and taking out people's stops long or short. It did that early on around 10 o'clock and then later around 2 o'clock as well, where you see it literally attempted to break out, but then got pulled back down below VWAP and stop out all the long stop losses. So we see it stopping everyone out only to do a grinding higher lows and then starting to reclaim and doing a power hour run later on. This stock was very algo driven. You can either just avoid it long or short like I did after some attempts, or you just have have to give it a lot of room long or short, especially around VWAP if you choose to trade it. That's why I mentioned earlier, do not set your stops right on VWAP. It really is just too easy to get stopped out, either long or short, on every single wick. Yes, this VWAP indicator is very useful for us day traders, but make sure to use it alongside with volume, the daily chart, and taking consideration the overall market conditions. If you want to learn more about other indicator setups, such as the MACD and the RSI pair, or how to use VWAP along with a 9 EMA, make sure to check out this video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader, and I'll see you guys next week.